Well, the first thing we're going to do is the first thing we're going to do is we're going to run the style and rail material. Now, this is going to be a simple shaker style cabinet door. And what we want to do is come a half inch back from the edge and a, about a little more than a, a no, about a quarter inch deep. That leaves us a half an inch for our grill pattern. So half inch back, quarter inch down. And we're gonna do all four sides, two, two sides and the top and the bottom. Half inch from the guide, quarter inch up of the blade. And safety glasses. got our style and rails now what we do is we need to cut the length so we'll say our two sides are going to be 24 inches high and then we'll say the the width of the door let's just say it's going to be 12 inches so let's just call it 24 by 12 24 inch cut we've got two of these Okay, now we need to get the 12 inch wide door. Okay, 12 inches overall. Okay, you can see our 12 inch wide. All right, now we come from inside to inside. And the inside measurement is eight and one quarter. Now here again, this depends on the width of your finished product. Do you want two inch styles? Do you want two and a half? Do you want three inch? Whatever it is, lay it out for the width of your door, but then measure the inside cut. Now the reason we're doing the shaker cut is so you don't have to buy a whole bunch of bits. Okay, so now we need to coat these back, and this will be a little different because we need to coat this area out. The little small fillet stays, the big one's got to go, so you remember coming back a half an inch, so we're cutting out that much. This was just like on the casement windows we did earlier, but this is cabinet doors. So let's, let me get these down and get this set. Okay, you can see the top tooth of that blade is right there at the top of that fillet because we want to take out this bottom area. Now we just need to go a half inch from the edge of this blade to the saw guide.
be your style and these would go together like that so now we need to put these together and all you do once you get it together you just put a since this is the back of the door you just put a couple of nails in there okay we just need to make sure we got us a good square because that's very important to keep this this door square because who theoretically your cabinet should be square okay you want to make sure you've got this facing the right way for your glass to fit down in there bring it down to the edge square it up now it doesn't matter if you have a crooked um, joint as long as it's square that's all you need to worry about okay a couple of staples in there now the other side same thing a little glue Same thing, you want to make sure it's flush with the bottom. You want to keep your square only on one side. Don't move this square to any other side. Keep it here. You want one side square to either the top or the bottom. Don't put the square here and then move it to the other side because you could rack this thing. Stay on one side. Two nails or one could be one staple two nails okay flip it now you know the door square so be careful with it get the glue everywhere because don't take a chance and say later I wish I would have put a little glue right there this stuff even after this interior glue dries you can still wipe it up with water if you're gonna stain your cabinet door okay let's get this on here same thing you want it flush at the bottom flush at the bottom and there again, don't worry if there's a, a crooked gap right here. That doesn't matter. Your door wants to stay square. See, we got our glass rail to the inside. Okay, now we need to cut the grills. Turn it over. don't want to fool with your door anymore as far as trying to square it up or anything leave it alone you can be cutting your grill so now what we need is we need this distance I need this distance across here okay so this distance from here to this side Looks like about seven and three eighths. Okay, so we're gonna have two across and then one up and down. So you always wanna, you, you can figure out yourself how you wanna do this. Okay, do two of them, seven and three eighths, leave the line. You can always trim it down, you can't add. 